How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2021 Chevy Tahoe for Rutherford Fire Department. We're checking out Rutherford's new 2021 Chevy Tahoe command vehicle. We've got a dual color Enforce light bar. Notice the middle module has the uh, built-in traffic emitter. What we were able to do is take this light bar off an existing vehicle and we're able to add the emitter into the light bar, making a very clean appearance. We've got three wire tricolor M powers. We are in our park mode now, so you can see that our flash pattern is uh, not as aggressive. It's better for scene safety. Headlight flasher on park kill. M powers on the side of the front bumper and then also in the fog light area. Tricolor M powers on the side view mirror, also in the rear quarter glass. And then you can see we have dual color SL runners. We've recessed them into the running board to give it a very nice clean appearance. Dual color, white override, white flashing. They have the ability to give you scene functions with white with the door open. White flashing is off in park right now, so your response mode gives you the white flash. Taking a look at the back, sound off's interior vehicle specific light bar. M powers, tricolor on the rear plate, white auxiliary lighting for reverse and rear scene. As usual, parking lights and reverse lights are flashing with blueprint. We've upgraded the reverse lights to LED to give you more visibility when backing up. You have additional scene lighting now for a rear scene switch with blueprint. And then we are also flashing to give you the appearance of a hideaway. And what's great about that is we have not modified the housing, which always maintains that warranty. When you lift up the hatch, our hatch warranty warning lights shut off and our hatch rear warning lights shut on. So they provide rear warning when the hatch is open. What's nice about mounting them up here is they're not in view of anybody that's standing back here. Just a little different option that you have to choose from. Hatch open, turns on our cargo lights automatically, turns off our rear interior light bar. All through the OBD2 link port, requires no splicing to the electrical system. We've got their portable chargers mounted to the top. Command box, very simple design. Storage compartment with pocket. Ratcheting magnetic command board. Open turnout gear storage area. Below the seat height, still allows visibility out the back window. We have our replacement mounting platform, which also serves as our electronics area. Um, we have room for our 500 series control lamp, all of our fuse panels. We also have a radio chassis back here, uh, allows for everything to be very accessible and serviceable in the event it needs to be. So we're taking a look at our front center console area. Uh, this is one of our plastic series consoles with our raised padded armrest, storage pocket underneath, Motorola speaker recessed to the side of the console for the XTL radio. We have our pass-through ports for the AM FM radio, auxiliary 12 volt USB, our sound off blueprint 500 controller and then we have our cup holders with our cell phone storage pocket so we're taking a look at our drive response mode now starting up at the top our light bar patterns changed we have additional white flashing and then it's hard to see but our emitter is also active which is on automatic park kill so you don't have to worry about shutting it off on an accident scene headlight flasher has been activated our grill light pattern has changed with the addition of white the same thing goes for our side fender and front bumper fog light area warning lights including our M powers on the rear side mirror, our rear window, and our SL runners all have the addition of white. So with the addition of our Blueprint 500 series system and our three wire M power lights, we're able to give you our aura patterns. So as you can see, our grill light is in a uh, steadily brighter and then dimming pattern and we're alternating between both of our colors. Light bar is an older model repurposed from another vehicle. So we have it on a slow runner pattern, um, but it still gives you uh, effective warning at a night scene when it may be too bright. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. Thank you to the Rutherford Fire Department for allowing us to build their new command vehicle. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.